there it is. <laughs> if you'd like to share where you're joining in from, that would be wonderful. We are in northern Minnesota, just outside of Duluth. So I'd love to hear where everybody else is uh, situated in the country or on the planet, because we do get people who join us from outside of the United States, which is really exciting and fun for us. Hello, Meryl in Toronto. Thank you. We love our Canadian neighbors. We get a lot of Canadians taking this class, which, you know, we're not super far away from Canada, so it makes sense. Derby, where is Derby? I have a feeling it's in Europe. You are probably our first participant ever from Derby. <laughs> so welcome to you. <laughs> So while we go through this class, we're going to be discussing the different vegetables and fruits that we're using and the ways that they are grown. So we'll be prepared to uh, answer some questions. Again, you can unmute for that time. And again, we're gonna get going here in just a few minutes. So you're going to want to have all of your ingredients out. So um, for, the, <clears throat> for the regular spring rolls, Oh, you know what, Lucy? I did not get out the, the peanut sauce ingredients. So we're gonna need those. So for the traditional spring rolls, we have our spring roll paper. We have our rice noodles. Here we go. Sorry guys, <laughs> spring roll paper, rice noodles. We have some bib lettuce, some carrots. Jalapeno, if you like things spicy. Some red cabbage. The one thing that always floors me with uh, vegetables, especially red cabbage and red onion, is aren't they actually purple? Strange to me. We've got some Persian or English cucumbers, some baby cucumbers. These are nice because they're seedless, and some people don't care for seeds. We've got fresh mint and fresh cilantro. I'm gonna get some folks admitted here. We've got bean sprouts. If you like bean sprouts, you can go ahead and use those. Ooh, they're leaky. Okay, and then Lucy is grabbing what we need for the dipping sauce, which is a peanut sauce. If you are um, allergic to peanuts, you can adjust this. You can use um, sun butter, you can use almond butter. It'll change the flavor, but it'll still be a good dipping sauce. So don't worry about that if you have peanut allergies. You can omit that part. We've got some more folks joining in. Okay, next uh, rice wine vinegar. We have soy sauce. Actually, Lucy, we have one that's open. Oh, we'll see if we need more. So this is actually tamari, and tamari is a gluten-free soy sauce. Oh, our honey is stuck. Here, I've got a different one. Oh, you put it up? Oh, that's plenty. Okay, we've got honey for sweetener, toasted sesame oil. Mom, we make the cap for the strawberry. This one, this one, you just watch. Um, we've got some garlic. We've got jarred garlic, which you can completely use. There's no shame in that game. You can use prepared garlic. Um, if you have garlic cloves, actually, Lucy, do you want to grab garlic out of the fridge and we'll show them how to prepare that? And then we're going to need some water just to thin out the sauce if it's a little too thick. Oh, and I forgot, we also have green onion. So that's what these are in here. So those are the ingredients for the traditional spring rolls. And then we also have fruit spring rolls. And for that, again, we're going to need our wrapping paper. Um, we have a different one that isn't. Okay, we do have another one because I had it for class on Thursday. Okay, so we have strawberries, some fresh strawberries, which I've already washed. Speaking of washing, once we get done here, guess what you get to do? If you are cooking along, you need to wash your hands. The other fruits we're going to be using in our fresh spring rolls 
we've got pear, we've got apple, and we've got an altofo mango. These little guys, they look a little scary because they're all wrinkly. If you guys can see it on this view, kind of wrinkly, kind of gross. That's actually when you want to use these. So what? this is a different kind of mango. Yep, you want them to be kind of wrinkly, kind of gross looking. And it's a little more wrinkly because I had it in the fridge. Okay, so links to the recipes. Those were included in the confirmation email that you received when you first signed up for the class. And they were also in the links to the event. So when you got the reminder emails, there was a red tab um, that says view this event. If you click on that red tab, then the links to the recipes show up at the bottom. Um, if anyone has a moment and has the links available and would like to share those onto our chat, that would be super helpful and I would really appreciate it. So if you have the time, otherwise Martin family, I can get that um, resent to you if you can't find it later. Okay. And then the last recipe we're going to do is a cute little spring dessert treat and it's flower pretzel treats. So for that, we're going to need pretzels, some white chocolate, and some springtime colored, um, these are chocolate morsels. We don't have M&Ms at the co-op, but the, these are nice because um, they use natural ingredients for the food coloring. Okay. So a couple other things that we're going to need just to get prepared. You're going to need some hot water um, for the spring roll wrappers. And you're also going to need boiling water for the um, rice noodles. You don't need to add the rice noodles to these. It's just up to you. Yep, Lucy's gonna start the water. Should I add a little bit of salt? We don't need any salt in it. Nope. Oh, I'm missing one. There you go. I was hungry. So I've got a shallow pan. There we go. I forgot my <laughs> my computer's not a touch screen here. I'm touching it. I'm coming. Okay. Oh, yeah. So Lucy's shallow. got, yep, yeah, this is our shallow oh, pan of oh, water. It's not hot yet. I haven't turned it on. So we're going to need that shallow pan of water to soften up our spring roll wrappers. Okay, we got a few more folks joining in. So, and again, let's um, just go over the specifics. Any questions you have, please feel free to unmute. You can unmute at any time. I just ask that everybody stay muted so that we don't have videos, you know, from other families pulling us away. Um, you can choose your view. So you have facing forward where you see Lucy and I and our countertop. Actually, Lucy, if you want to push the camera back just a little bit so they can see more. I was going to say maybe I should do that. Yep. Or you can choose the laptop view, which is going to be turned down so that you can see the workstation. So it's up to you. That's better. <laughs> and as soon as I'm done admitting, folks, we are going to get started. So every good chef, first and foremost, go wash your hands. Make sure your hands are washed. If you touch your hair, touch your face, scratch, something like that, you're gonna to wanna to wash your hands again. Food safety is really important when you are working with ingredients. You wanna make sure that you're keeping yourself clean so that you're not spreading germs and potentially making people sick from the food that you make. So you wanna make sure the hands are washed. I'm just going to get a little space here so again, we are going to prep all of our ingredients first so that when we build these spring rolls, it's going to be a really quick process. Wait, are we going to prep the spring roll wrappers too? We won't prep the spring roll wrappers because you have to, yep, as soon as you um, get them wet and they soften, you have to use them right away. They, um, if they stay too soft, they stick together, they get all gummy, and they're really hard to work with. So we don't want that. It's my time to shine. It's Lucy's time to shine. A couple more things that we're going to need. We need some pans with some parchment paper laid out for um, the spring rolls and for the flower treats. 
And we're also going to need a colander or a drainer for the noodles. So right here, Lisa's gonna put that in the sink so we're prepared for when the noodles are ready. And you might need a couple more bowls, um, things to put your ingredients in. Can I shine now? <laughs> yes, you can. Yes. Okay, so Lucy is jumping in. We're going to turn this view down. Okay, I'm going to show a few tricks for cutting um, these so that they're they're pretty and they look good. So what we're going to do, and actually. While I'm doing that, Lucy can start grating our carrot. I cut my finger last time I grated something. Well, that's... Oh, I like that grater. That so this is a little box grater. It's beautiful. Uh, yep. So it has all these attachments. And it's nice because as you're grating things, everything falls right into the base. I can use the water. I'll the food cleanser. <laughs> Turn up. Okay, so Lucy's gonna snap that on and then you just rub it back and forth. Yep, cut the end off. Okay, I'll do it. Okay, so Lisa's gonna move over there. So what I'm going to do with our cucumber and with our green onions. Now the fun thing about these, super customizable. You can do them whatever way you want. You can add whatever veggies you like. Um, red bell pepper would be really good in this. It's stuck to the bottom. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to cut it at an angle. So see like that. Oh, so not nice instead of fat, uh, flat. And then you just keep cutting at an angle. You want them nice and thin. Oops, that was a little too thin. So when you're cutting things, it's important to keep in mind your claw. I'm just going to. So as you hold things, that keeps your fingers out of the way. You can use a butter knife on these um, cucumbers. They're pretty soft. All right, put that off to the side. And we'll cut some more. Workout. Yep, grating carrot is a workout. And Lucy is building muscle by doing that. Well, you would think after baking for so long, I would have muscle. <laughs> this isn't helping. Okay, that's probably plenty of cucumbers. So we're going to put that you might, you might not off to the Probably don't need all of it, no. Oh. Put that off to the side. So that's ready for that. I think this is almost done. So same thing with these green onions. I am going to cut them at an angle. Please don't do too much. So it's called a biased cut. And then again, you want these nice and thin. And just go slow, and as you cut, you want to walk your fingers back. Just checking to make sure there's no questions. We're doing good so far. Is it what you said at the end? No, just switch to the next carrot. Okay. So this is called a biased cut, which mm -hmm. means that it's at an angle. Can you grab a bowl for compost? Yes, let's grab a compost bowl. And then we'll just do it nice big one. I'll probably eat this while you're back. No, I won't. Okay, I gotta go away from the green onion. Lucy doesn't care for onion very much, which is fine. I like onion. Okay, so we're still boiling water for the rice noodles, so waiting on that. Oh, I almost cut my finger off. Here you go. Well, I'll probably You know what? 
That looks to be and probably stuff. enough carrots. So okay. just one carrot I'll is just fine. Keep it in this because sounds good. Be its own little thing. Where's the oh, here? I want to cut the cabbage. Okay, so Lucy's gonna cut the cabbage. Cabbage is paid. Okay, how do you want me to cut it? So with this, um, it's gonna be really, really thinly sliced. Mm -hmm. So sometimes it has some kind of older layers to it. You just want to peel those off. So, so things that we haven't talked about yet. Uh, two things, actually. If your screen freezes or your audio is weird, anything like that. Can I the answer? Go ahead, just Lucy. go and we'll re-enter you. Yes, leave the class, come on back. No worries there. We just want to make sure that everybody can see and hear fine. So we will readmit you if you have to leave. No. And then next, we're going to start talking about our vegetables. So should I cut the bottom off and then just like do a little thing like slices of like rainbows? Well, I'm trying to figure this out. I or think you, you could use this and shave it. OK, but still cut the bottom off. Well, OK, so Lucy well, wants to cut the bottom off. The I thing do. with. The oh, core it's what keeps it like the core keeps it together. Yeah. So you're gonna want to start from the other okay. side. What you could do is you don't want to cut straight core. down, you want to cut it at an angle to get the core out. I cut this Okay. So we'll we'll let me do it. Sometimes the parents have to step in. Yep. So Lucy's gonna grade it. Okay. So I'm gonna put in there. So that's most of it. You can see. Don't hold it. It looks like a mountain. So it has really pretty paper for the yeah. okay, so okay, so now I just grade. Great. Yep. Not grade. Great. Yeah. Yeah. Nope, nope. <laughs> if you have a box grater, that might work better than what we have, which we have a box grater. I don't have a box grater. Or a triangle grater as it is. Oh, this is old. Okay, well enough. I just pulled out like three layers. It's fine. Okay, that's too much. Just go ahead and start grating. You don't want to waste it. No. <laughs> How do you want me to best do this? I don't want to hold it. You don't want to hold it. I'm gonna hold it. Oh. Okay, this is gonna jump in. I think I've sort of got it now. Okay, so at this point, our water is boiling. How do I go about holding this? Oh, got it. <laughs> Getting cabbage in our onion. That's fine. I don't want onion. <laughs> okay, let's see how much you got here. That's actually a pretty decent amount. Yeah, I did it. Yes. Yeah. So you play out the box grater. Oh, here it is. Can I have a straw, please? I think it would be better if we gave you a straw. I'll just. Yeah, I'm. So we're going to take our cabbage, put that off to the side. These are going to be so pretty. Unfortunately, I don't have any red bell pepper because that would have been great in this. Okay, so that that water is really boiling now. I'm putting the noodles in. So what you want to do is turn off your water and get it off of the heat. Oh, because these are rice noodles and they cook quick. Yes, these are going to cook extremely fast. Should I put the whole brick in? Yep. All, well, no, just half. Just one. Oops. Oh, 
there's, oh, there's two. Yes, there's two bricks in there and we don't really need to use both. So we're just gonna use one of them. So here, we'll turn this view so you can see the solar camp. So it's off the heat. And Lucy's just gonna submerge the whole thing. And it's only gonna take three minutes. So right now it's 1019, almost 1020. So at 1023, we're going to take that, drain it, and put some cold water on it. And that's going to stop the cooking. So otherwise it'll be really gummy and sticky. Oops, sorry about that, folks. Should I get gloves to cut the jalapeno? I don't want to like touch my hands. So I'm going to show Lucy how to cut the jalapeno. Without getting cheats. Yep. In my eyes. So there's two methods. You can cut the top off, cut it down the center, and then use a spoon to get the seeds out and the membrane. So people think that the seeds are what causes uh, Do you boil the witch item? The, the um, rice noodles. So where's the box? Right there. Yep. So here's our rice noodles. And that's just a component of the spring rolls. You don't have to have them. You don't. Definitely don't need them. So it's actually the membrane and the oil that's in the membrane that the seeds are in that causes the heat for jalapenos. So a good way to get rid of that without having to touch it is to cut, hold on to the stem, and then you, the pot of boiling water, you just pull it off the stove and put it to the side so it's not on the heat anymore. And then eventually we'll drain it. So it'll just be another minute or two before we drain it. So we're cutting straight down through the outside. Got a little bit of seed in that one. We're gonna save this, but you can see the seeds are still pretty much intact in that membrane. I'll get you a tiny fish. There we go. And we just got a little bit of seeds and hardly any membrane here. Okay, so Lucy's going to stir up these noodles. Yeah, use a fork. To break them apart and so that they can get soft. Meanwhile, I am going to chop our jalapeno. Now the thing with any kind of pepper, bell pepper, jalapenos, um, any kind of pepper, you wanna cut skin down. Sometimes that skin can be a little slippery. And if your knife isn't sharp, say you're using a butter knife or your cutting knife is dull, you could slip. Okay, stir them and it's been three minutes. Now, if you like it spicy, feel free to just chop straight down through that jalapeno, keep the seeds, the membranes, all of it. Mom, I'm gonna do this. Let me look at them. Almost. It was 1023. Oh, it was? No. It was almost 10. Oh, 20. Okay. Yep, that's good. Lucy's going to take those to the sink and drain them and then put cold water over them. Mm -hmm. Nope, nope, not doing that. Okay, I will do that. <laughs> Okay, Lucy's gonna do the cold water. So that's probably plenty of jalapeno. You don't need a ton. We'll save that jalapeno for something else. Just want a little bit of heat. Okay, so next, the lettuce. Spinach would be really good in this too. So if you have spinach, you can do that instead. I think they need to be rinsed a little bit longer. <laughs> So this lettuce is kind of cool because they kick it by the roots. 
So you can see here. Is that butter lettuce? Yep, it's butter or bib lettuce. Which means so they the pull out the root. So if you see here, this part would be underground. And then this grows out over. So there's the roots. This part is the part that grows out of the ground. And then they pack it just like that. It's nice and tender. So there's a little bit of crunch here, not a ton. This one happens to be a red version, but there's regular green versions as well. well yes? I don't know what these are. Oh, they cooked. Okay. There? Okay. Okay, so here's our noodles. We'll just have that off to the side. Is mint next? Yep, mint and cilantro. So mint and cilantro are very traditional spring roll um, ingredients. Fresh mint is, um, you know, it smells really good. It's an herb. Cilantro is also considered an herb. Some people don't care for cilantro though. They feel like it tastes like soap, which I can, I can uh, appreciate, but I don't necessarily concur. Oh, so so I don't agree. <laughs> I like the, the taste. It has a fresh flavor to it. How many pieces do you want to? Um, do, do the leaves of two stems. Fresh mint smells delicious. Mm -hmm. Sancho, interesting. <laughs> Thai food in general uses a lot of cilantro I and a lot of mint. Uh, Cardine with the mint, because I don't know if we want big chunks of mint. We don't need to cut it. Oh. We can. Yay! All right, I'm going to put that off to the side. So Lucy would like to cut the mint. Traditionally, you would just put it right down onto the spring roll wrapper, but so I'll show Lucy what to do, and then Lucy's going to finish the cutting. I did. You're going to do a chiffon on? Wait, is that the one where you roll it and then you? Yep. Like so Lucy's going to do what's called a chiffonade, which is just a French, <laughs> fancy French term for rolling them into a little bundle and then making small cuts down the bundle. Okay, hold the knife on the blade. Lock your fingers down. Good. Yeah, I know. That's why I said good. <laughs> Done. I'm just going to, yeah, I think that's perfect. All right. So we'll show the folks so here's our little chiffonade, chiffonade of mint. It yeah. smells delicious in here now. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Don't really need to do anything with the, um, and this was not bean listed yep, as an ingredient. So these are bean, bean sprouts. Um, I like bean sprouts, they, they add a little fun crunch. So these are bean plants, just yeah. as they start to come out of the ground. So that's what a bean sprout is. It's pretty. It's dirt now. They do have a dirt-like smell to them, the for name? sure. What? I lost the name. I need to The container? Some. Ah, there you go. It's dirt. Okay. Oh, <laughs> yeah. So from here, we're going to move on to prepping our fruits yep. for the fruit spring rolls. So I'm going to get this out of the way. I'll take a few. Okay. So for this one, 
We've got apple. Would you get a, a glass so that we yeah. can show Which the one? Um, one with a thin lip? A thin. Pretty thin. So again, you want all of your um, fruits to be nice. sliced nice and thin. Um, More we have. <laughs> so the strawberries, we're going to cut these so that they're nice and pretty. So mm -hmm. first you're going to cut off the top of the strawberry. That'll work. Yeah. Okay. And then you're going to put it flat side down. Is it banana? Mm -hmm. Yep. And you're just going to cut down through the bottom of the strawberry. So it's nice and thin. Yes. I can cut strawberries. Yep. So Lucy's going to take over cutting these strawberries. Can you do the apple? Yes, I will do the apple. And the mango. Yep. I can't do it. So. Just got a little extra water on the cutting board from washing our strawberries. Which strawberries do I do? Do the big ones. Okay. So this one? <clears throat> sure. And then like that? Yep. Well, there's one thing I forgot to prep, everybody. We forgot to prep our um, garlic. So we'll have to do that. And I'll have to leave. Mm -hmm. I want them nice and thin. Just checking to see. Okay. Do you boil? That was the okay. for the rice noodles. Yeah. Oh, sorry. That's okay. Did it. I got one strawberry. Okay. We're going to just do one more. Thank you. Yep. So again, you want your ingredients nice and thin because you're going to layer them in your spring roll wrapper. Mm -hmm. It's like wrapping my hands like falling down a mountain. Mm. Okay. Okay, so that looks pretty good for our strawberries. So next I am going to show everybody the mango. So mangoes have a pit. They grow on trees and they have a pit that's kind of like an almond shape. They grow on trees? Yep, mangoes grow on trees. So what you're going to do is you're going to cut through the white part and try to avoid that pit. And this knife is not super sharp. I have a so, that short. Oh, and darn, this one got a, little too. got a little too ripe. So we'll have to avoid those parts. That's okay. We'll still have plenty of mango. Yeah. That's perfect. Okay. So the thing with Otofo mangoes, I probably shouldn't have put it in the fridge because they're not refrigerated. That might be part of the problem. Um, they're not as fibrous as traditional, the green and red mangoes that you see. Okay, so I've cut these into strips. I can do that part. Well, let me show first and okay. then you can. Yeah. And so what we're going to do is skin on the outside and you're going to use the rim of the cup to separate the skin from the mango. So you're just going to push it down and then as you push, you pull away with the skin and there you go. So that one we're going to be able to use well, actually, I'll taste it and see if it tastes bad. Yeah, it doesn't taste great, so don't use it. Okay. So maybe use that part. Okay. Well, that's sad. That was a little sad, but it's okay. Skin on the outside, fruit on the inside, pull away you probably lost a lot of food yeah that's okay that's not the part that we want because it looks kind of bad yay so we're okay there other fruit that you can use in this bananas would be really good in this here we'll just do this cut off the good part. yep we'll just cut the good parts off then we don't have to Okay. 
Hopefully your guys' mangoes look good. Yeah, this is going to be enough mango for this. Well, we'll just do a couple with it. Yeah, it'll be fine. And we can do like this. And again, thin. you're going to yep, do it really thin. Would orange taste good in this? Orange would be interesting. It'd be good, but I think it would be messy. Yeah. So there's that. I think okay, we have pear. There's kiwi. Should I grab a kiwi? Oh yeah, the kiwi's in the fridge. I forgot to That's that That's why up. I saw one lovely kiwi. Yeah. So we're gonna cut down through the pear. And then just like you would with the apple, you're going to get that core out. I know how to cut a kiwi with my skin on it. Cool. You're like, it takes me a really long time. So now if you're like Lucy's sibling, you eat kiwi with the skin on, which is don't fine. Do well, I don't do that. So you want a nice ripe pear. I'll leave you to the apples. Apples scare me. I'm cutting them without doing it a certain way. So let's see, we have three different, four different fruits that grow on trees. Kiwis grow on trees? No. Yep. Kiwi. Yeah. Kiwis grow pear, on tree. Mango, pear grows on apple. tree. Mango grows on tree. How do strawberries grow? If no one answers, I'll answer. Have you ever gone strawberry picking in the spring? I have. I'm from spring and summer. Here it's summer. In the cities, it was also kind of fall. Not fall. When I went. It was like sort of fall. It was like the end of summer. It was the end of summer. Okay, no one's gonna answer, so I might as well. Well, let's see. Let's see. No, okay, no answers. Go ahead, Lucy. On a plant bush frame. They grow really, really bush, low to like, the ground. Yeah, which is hard for tall people. All right, so that's probably good for the amount of pear that we're gonna use. And then we've got apple. Oh, I can cut it that way. I just can't do it where you like cut the little. Sure. So it's out of it. So this is a new kind of apple. What is it? The sunrise. Can I try tiny? Yep. I've already had one apple today. Ooh, and this will add a nice tart, sweet crunch to our spiritual really fruit. <laughs> it's really cold. Good. I haven't tried things yet either. Mmm. They're really good. It says five cups of fruits and then it says five strawberries. So it just really needs the strawberries to be in there. Mm -hmm. yeah. But I think we have plenty. Yeah. Because we're not gonna make the we're not gonna make the full recipe. We don't need that much. We don't need 15. No. Sprinkles. So what after the spring rolls, or like prepping the fruit spring rolls, what are we going to do? Um, we're going to put together our spring rolls. Okay. And then we'll do the pretzel things? Yep. And then the, the pretzel pretzel. things will be the last recipe. Pretzel. Okay. Okay. So Lucy's going to cut the kiwi and she's going to show how she gets the skins off. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. okay. Cut both ends. Mom, the kiwi is really hard. No. Okay. So this is where. Oh, careful. I know. Let's, uh, can you get a sharpen? Let's sharpen our knife. Yes, please. Because that cord is really hard. Not there. Pretty good. Pretty good. So this is a, a honing blade or a honing, honing steel. And so this is something grown ups should do. Kids should so not be doing not this. Have it be. So this is how we sharpen the knife. And that should be sharp. Now, cut the other end off. Oh, yeah, it's a little bit. Of... And then, so Lucy cut both ends off, and now she's got it on the, one of the flat sides. And she's just going to take the knife, and we're going to do the curvature and cut off the skin on the outside. Yeah, so just follow around the outside of the kiwi. 
and then just trim off. It doesn't have the skin. to be perfect. It does not have to be perfect. Because the skin is edible and you won't even taste it. Yep. It's just more fiber. Just do that inside. Kiwis, all skinned. Skinned. Yep, skinned. There. And now Lucy can make thin little. Oh, we missed just a little bit of it. No worries. That comes out pretty quick. Okay. And now Lucy can, nope, cut through the core. There you go. Thank you. No. <laughs> How do you want me? Flat, oh. like a coin. You want it to be like oh, a little coin. you didn't want it to be a rainbow? I don't want it to be a oh. rainbow or a matchstick. I want it to be a coin. Well, I, didn't, I knew you didn't want it to be a matchstick. Yeah, I made these for you. Thank you. There's not a lot of fur on it. Because of the kiwi shedding. Anybody know where kiwis come from? Nope. Oh, well, where they originated from, I should say, because I believe now they're grown in the United States in hotter parts like California and Florida and Texas. I don't know if they're grown in Texas, to be honest. Okay. They're not the thinnest. They're not the thinnest, but that's okay. So that there's our fruits for the fruit spring rolls. And now we can prepare. We're gonna go back though to that garlic. So back to the old cutting board. <laughs> so we've got cloves of garlic here. And this is for the peanut sauce. And Lucy doesn't care for garlic either, so. <laughs> so that's why she is not in the picture at the moment. So you're going to take your clove of garlic. This is a bulb of garlic. And garlic is very similar to onion. So we've got a papery outer shell and then they grow in the ground. So the root, this is the root end and then they grow up. And so then there would be a green stem-like top to it. But once it dries, it looks like this. So papery and thin. So just like onions and how they grow, they grow underground. Not really a root vegetable, but they do grow underground. So carrots, that's a root vegetable. So the carrot grows under the ground and then you get the big leafy green stem <laughs> across the top. Cabbages grow above the ground. And, like a little and in fact, plant. Cabbage, cauliflower, and broccoli are all related. Cucumber grows on a low plant. Same with um, peppers. Uh, peas grow up a vine. Yep, peas are usually on a vine, so you have to string them up. Okay, so I'm trying to prep my garlic. So you might have seen me take the flat of my knife blade and then press down on it. That's going to help remove the skin. The skin can kind of be sticky so we want to get that off and then cut down through the little end where it was connected to the bulb of garlic down on the root end and then taking my knife i'm going to keep the tip of my knife down and i'm just going to rock my blade back and forth again making my claw with my fingers to keep those fingers out of the way. And then we're just going to mince our garlic. Another addition to this peanut sauce that I'm surprised wasn't in there, and we're probably gonna add a little over here. If you don't have it, don't worry about it. But lime juice, we're going to add some lime juice to that peanut sauce. Just a little bit, the acidity will um, help the peanut butter break down and it just adds a nice, bright, fresh flavor. Okay, so here is our minced garlic. Was it just one clove, Lucy? I don't know. <laughs> I didn't look either. 
Okay. Oops. It's fine. Two clubs. Ha. Huh. There we go. So we gotta do that again. And again, if you're using jarred garlic, you can totally use jarred garlic. That is not a problem. Um, the thing with jarred garlic is it has citric acid in it, usually to preserve it. Citric acid is in a lot of different foods as a preservative. Doesn't really change the flavor or anything like that. It maybe mellows it a little bit though. So it won't be as strong. And then it also has, if you have it packed in oil, then you're adding a little oil to your recipe. Um, sometimes it's packed in water. Just kind of depends on the brand that you use. So just know that it will change the recipe slightly. But again, if you're taking a shortcut or you don't have fresh garlic, jarred garlic is a good way to go. Okay, that looks pretty good. So I'm going to go rinse my fingers off because they're sticky. Oh, after I do this though. Here we go. Get that garlic into the little bowl that we're going to use for the peanut sauce. Okay, Lucy, do you want to come back and start building the sauce? Yeah. Perfect. So now, um, let's see. So our water that was boiling when we first started the class is now more oh, like room temperature, a little bit warmer. So I'm going to get that heated up again. It does not have to be boiling, but it will be pretty hot. Um, so you want to be careful with it. Okay. Can I have a spatula? A spatula or a whisk? A spatula and a whisk. Or probably just a spatula. I just need it for peanut butter. You can have spatula. Oh, sure. Okay, so Lucy has peanut butter and we're going to use one third cup of peanut butter. Yep. I'm probably gonna need two more if you're doing it like that. Ooh, maybe three. One more. Mm -hmm. All right, so Lucy's trying to get it so that it's flat along the top, which that's going to be one third. Nope, still not quite there. It's close. <laughs> that's better. It's okay. -ish. Okay, so go ahead and scoop that into. <laughs> So next, we need two tablespoons of rice wine vinegar. So this is um, an Asian style vinegar made from rice, which is, there you go, right in the name. That's okay. Can I have a small bit? Here, while I do it. The thing with this is it doesn't have to be perfect as we're not baking. We are just cooking at this point. Okay, two tablespoons of tamari or soy sauce, whichever you have. If you have reduced salt, that's fine too. Tamari is a gluten-free version of regular soy sauce. So a lot of people like to use it. Especially if you um, are you know, gluten -free. sensitive to gluten. <laughs> okay, so two of the soy sauce. Two of almost everything. Yeah, it is. Okay, and then we can just keep using the same measuring, measuring spoon. So we've got two tablespoons of honey or maple syrup. This will give it a nice sweetness. Okay, there's one. Go ahead and use the spatula to clean it up. Yeah. 
Also, depending on how sweet your peanut butter is. Okay, thank you. You might not want to use is this one a sweet. bunch of honey. Um, our peanut butter is not super sweet. We used Justin's Justin's peanut butter, and that one's not very sweet. Okay, one tablespoon. We've got. Can you open this? Please? It's a twist off. I know that's what I was trying to do, but I want to twist because I only have one hand. So we got one tablespoon of I love this sesame this. oil, which yeah, it smells really good. Okay. Okay. And then we are going to mix everything together. And if it's super thick, we're going to want to add a little bit of water to it. Mm -hmm. Jesus. <laughs> it scared me. There we go. I'm going to take a whisk and. I'm gonna spill it. I know. Yep, this is kind of a hard part. It is because you can spill so much because of the peanut butter being so thick, but everything being so nutty. Yes. So again, if you are allergic to peanuts, but you still want to make a dipping sauce, cashew nuts, sun butter, some butter, sunflower seeds, almond butter, mm -hmm. all of those. Almond butter, you would have to add. Behind because it's got like no flavor. You could also do um, syrup. As yes, for the yes. Yeah. But I was going to say you could oh, do sorry. <laughs> yeah. you could do tahini, which is a sunflower I'm sorry, a sesame seed paste. Yeah, I love sesame seeds. And again, if you like things spicy, here you can go ahead and keep mixing. I think maybe just a little bit of water to that. Yeah. I like things that are spicy. You can add some red pepper flake to this. So at least he, well, don't forget it though, if you're gonna put in those jalapenos. Okay. I'll leave a little dish for me of red pepper that I'll pour a little bit of. Okay. Um, the sauce into you. Where is the red pepper flake? Oh, well, usually we have it in the big uh, another thing you could do is if you have sriracha, you could do a little shot of sriracha in this. Mm -hmm. um, sambal olek, which is a chili paste, another spicy Asian condiment. You could put that in there. I'm just going to get a little bowl that I can pour some of the sauce into and add a little bit. Okay. Red pepper. Oh, and right. we were going to add just a little shot of lime juice. We were? Oh, cool. I was. <laughs> oh, okay. This is my spicy sauce. So I've got a lime here, fresh lime. It's a little hard, so I'm going to take it and roll it on the countertop. And that's going to help break up I already see one flake the pulp of flake. and release those juices just a little bit. That's probably plenty. Goodness. So now again, you don't need to add lime juice or, I just, red, pepper flake. or red pepper flake. Okay. I just really like the flavor that lime brings to a peanut butter sauce. Can I have a tiny bit? Mm -hmm. Thank you. Can I use that fork to whisk this? All right, my spicy peanut butter sauce is ready. Okay. I'm not going to try it. Mm. On its own. I'll just wait. Because I don't That's really good. Garlic, so I'm just gonna... Okay, so this is where we come to the hard part. Spring rolls. Spring rolls. Using our spring roll wrappers. They can be tricky. And I don't want you to to fret. It can frustrated. be yep, or get frustrated. A lot of times it takes two or three to get the feel of it. What could you do? We have the design. I'm showing people this. Yep, and when the design disappears, you know that your spring roll. Can you get the white um, cutting board? Cutting board, yeah. big cutting board. I know. Great. There you go. Okay, so here is our hot water. Sorry. It's okay. I know what you want to cut. Why don't you put that over there for now? Come with me. Um. OK, 
Okay, so this is the part where you might need tongs to help you grab it out or somebody with fingers that um, are a little tougher and used to handling things with heat. Nope, okay. Can do this yeah. So here is our spring roll wrapper. And I'm just going to set up a station so that once it's ready to go, we can just add all of our ingredients. Oh, I got to. Okay, clean up our spot just a little bit. <laughs> So we are going to set up our station. It's going to be beautiful. Like I said, the only thing we're missing is red onion or red uh, bell pepper. I'm pretty sure we don't. Okay, so here's our paper. You're going to get it into the water. Submerge it. It's pretty hot, so I'm going to. You can see it. Yeah, it's hard to find. Where did it go? Okay. It's ready. Yep, so it's going to be really pliable. We're going to put it down onto our workstation. Yep. Oh, and it's sticking. See, I told you it takes a couple before you start to get the feel of it. <laughs> So we're going to take some lettuce, some carrot, some cucumber. I thought that I did give you enough cucumber. I did. Yeah. Some red cabbage. Do you put the peanut sauce inside or just not you dip it in? Oh, that makes no sense. Maybe just a couple pieces of jalapeno. Yes, and see that easier. Sauce. Some of the mint okay. mm. and a little bit of cilantro. Ooh, yours is getting really stuffed. Yeah, it's not have that much stuff. And then, oh, and our noodles are sticky. That's okay. I like sticky vegetables. And then some of the rice noodles. Okay, I'm, I'm going to move this out of the side so that you guys can see what happens next. You fold. You fold it like a burrito. Okay. So you take it and you fold one side in. And then you take it and you fold the other side in. And then fold it over. And you want to try to tuck and push everything as far in as you can. And then you roll it up. Oh, I'll get a plate. Oh, we we're going to put it on the tray. Oh. So not perfect because, like I said, sometimes you need to do a couple before you start to get the feel of it. So there's one. Next. I'm going to try this one. Okay, Lucy's going to give it a shot. She's good. You're going to be fine. Okay, so I just slide it in. Yep, slide it into the water, let it get submerged, push it down. It doesn't take very long, just a minute, or not even a minute. Do you want to put it on? Okay, and Lucy wants me to put it on. There we go. That's a little bit better than last time. <laughs> okay, so Lucy's going to build her spring roll. Do you want noodles? Yes. Okay, we'll get some noodles on there. And it's just a little amount, doesn't have to be a whole lot. Okay, next, lettuce. Mm. Okay, that's not gonna be very eventful. Okay. What else are you putting on there? Cucumber. Okay, maybe the vegetable. A little bit of carrot. Sticky, a little bit of Whatever you are, I forgot what you need. Red is. cabbage. <laughs> and some sprouts, okay. Yeah. Do you want mint? Nope. No mint? Nope. Oh, no, I'll do the tiniest piece. We had to go to mint. Okay. okay. All right, so, yep. So the long way, uh -huh. you roll one side up. Uh oh. <laughs> You're okay. On that side. Doing good. Mm -hmm. 
Make ready. Yeah. There you go. Lucy's not very one. stuffed. Or oh, pretty, but it's pretty enough. Yeah. Maybe this one won't be our perfect one. Maybe. Will we get the hang of it? Or not? <laughs> nope. Probably not. That's close. Yeah. So I have a feeling this one will be it. All right. I want more noodles on the next one. Because I like more noodles. Sure. And actually, what I'm going to do. I'm going to start with the cucumber so that you can see it. So you can see it, make it's it pretty. So pretty. And then you'll put the other things on top. Yum. And I forgot, I like onion. I do like green spots. Hey, we even have white. We go on. Oh, we have two things of white. Okay, a little bit of mint, a little bit of cilantro, a little cilantro. Okay, fold up one side. My next one's gonna have like nothing on it. Fold up the other side. Yeah, cover to care. Tuck everything in. <laughs> and then roll. There, now you can see our cucumbers. Slide it in, merge it out, hot. Just, yeah. It's my fingers too much. Yeah, this part, this is the hardest part, I think, just working with the spring roll wrappers, especially if you've never done it before. They can get tricky. They can. And I've done it before, so. Even right. if you've done it before, it can, yeah. I, Okay, Lucy wants more noodles on this one than the last one. Definitely. Okay. So when you're creating your layers, you kind of want them to be pretty uniform as far as size and over. height. Thank you very much. I'm going to take it. And I'll put my... Good. Over carrot. And I want my top rate to be red cabbage. So the nice thing with these are you get all these different nutrients and vitamins from the different colors. And they're completely customizable. Do you want some lettuce? Nope. No lettuce. Okay. And again, completely customizable. If you prefer cucumber over some of the others, I add do. a little extra. They're great for lunches. So you guys can wrap these up in some one pretty side, two pretty side. Yeah, very nice. This is pretty though. So these will keep in the fridge. A week? I'd say. A day? No, not a day. Not a day. It would last probably three or four days. So almost a full So time. airtight container, you can put them in the fridge, and then you can bring them to school with you. <gasps> I have a lunch idea now. <laughs> I'm going to make spring rolls for lunch. Yeah. This one might be the best one yet. OK. I'm going to do one because we also need to do our fruit ones. Yep. And we still have one more thing to make. Yep. So I have enough three. Ooh, I thought this class would go faster, but me too. But building Chopping takes time. Yep. yep. Building spring rolls takes time. Chopping takes time. Chopping takes time. Everything takes a lot of time. It does. Not that we're putting time, but space on it. <laughs> <laughs> nope, definitely not putting time the spice on these. <laughs> that would be strange. I don't think it would taste good with the cilantro and things and stuff. And then All right, so let's wrap up one side, wrap up the second side, and then roll it on up. This is going to be so pretty. I think so. I'm going to start this one with uh, red cabbage. Because I'll be able to see the red cabbage. So, yep, here's this one. That one looked pretty good. My hands are getting used to the water. The water is cooling off. It is, <laughs> but it still hurts me. 
no property. No, oh, not yet. That water is getting a little too cool. We're going to have to. I think it's good there. Oh, oh no. I did it. Good. Sort of. This might be one of the best ones at the end. So we are going to, after Lucy's done, oops, we like putting everything away too fast. Oh, you can put those ones away. After Lucy is done oh, building. Wait, I can do red cabbage first. Yes. We're going to move on to the fruit ones. And then we'll do cucumber. Noodles, which might be a little too long. And just. A little sprinkle of you. Another thing you could put in here would be um, if you really like peanuts, you can definitely put peanuts into the wrap. Add some more crunch to it. Let's see what else. So red bell pepper, green pepper if you like peppers. Um, you avocado. Do... You could do avocado. <gasps> I didn't do avocado. <laughs> Wasn't part of the ingredients. <laughs> oh, that's sad. Okay. Okay, yeah, so if you want to bring over the tray of fruits. Come on over, buddy. This apple looks really good. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. I notice a trend. The things I cut are a little less thin than the ones I cut. Yeah. Lots of practice. Yeah. Okay, so before we start, I'm still waiting for the water to get warmed up. So, for, I'm start so Lucy is going to start separating our M&Ms for the last. There you go. I think you need to be over there. So I'm going to be the lead. They don't need to see you. <laughs> okay, well, Do you all need to watch her separate colors? I don't think so. We don't have enough bowls. So then do have a half. Do I need to do the whole package? It's going to take me nope. years. Cool. And you don't need to do this part either. I'm you can, like you can definitely can just pull them out them. as you are working on your okay. oh, tree. Dark purple and okay. light purple can go together. So, water is nice and hot again. <laughs> really hot. Burgundy, actually. Oh, no. okay. This one has a tear in it, but that's okay. We can still use it. Okay, so now we're moving on to the fruit rolls. I'm just making sure, no questions. I just got my necklace in the water. <laughs> so we're going to start with strawberries. This one's great. And then do a couple little pieces of mango. And some pears. I think yellow and red will all have to go together. Yeah, that together. And then finish off, oops, some apple. Ooh, good. Red, blue, blue, blue. Okay, nobody needs to hear it. <laughs> and then last but not least, some kiwi. And we'll fold up one side. This one got a little lengthy. So for this one, you've seen we're not adding noodles to this. You could. The noodles won't affect the flavor. Oh, and I'm getting sticky here. You should do one with noodles. Oh, well. This one didn't work out so well. It's still there. It just doesn't look as good. Maybe it just wasn't made to be an extra meal. Yeah, maybe. This takes a lot of time. Yeah. All righty. Thank you. 
do that. Do a little mango. I'm gonna do three pieces of mango. <laughs> That's okay. Get some pear. You know, I never did try the pear. Mmm. Oh, that's really good. I heard. Ooh, drop two. <laughs> At least we've got slippery hands, I guess. Yeah, I Plus, I put too many in this one. So, same thing with these rolls, um, or with the uh, veggie rolls. These rolls will last in the fridge three or four days in an airtight container. This one's working better. Yeah. Okay, that's one more hand. There we go. So strawberries on the outside, kiwi on the inside. And again, you can do blueberries, you can do, um, let's see, what other fruits could you do? Cherries, maybe? Grapes. Grapes, you could do some grapes. Um, tomato. Tomato. Okay, well, that is a fruit. <laughs> but it's a savory fruit versus a sweet one. No, no, first to have. Um, banana. Banana, that'd be a great choice. Um, I don't know. Olives. <laughs> Olives. <laughs> that is a fruit. Okay, I'm almost done. <laughs> I did like four handfuls. Done. I did purples, blue and green, and then red yellow. Perfect. Okay, so now that you all have kind of the hang of creating spring rolls, really, again, it's just your imagination how you want to come up with different combinations. For a second, I thought that we were going to dip those fruit ones in that um, cream sauce. So now we're going to move on to the last recipe, which is the pretzel flower treats. And three different flowers. And flower pretzel treats. Tray to put our treats on. So I just have some parchment paper on a tray. So we need to melt the white chocolate. Okay. Where? Oh, we're going to put these in the oven. us to do. So we don't have the right kind of white chocolate. We have morsels. So like if we were going to make chocolate chip cookies. Oh, I wanted the So this wafers. called wafer, called for wafers. The cloth doesn't carry wafers. Okay. So what we're going to do instead is we're going to melt our white chocolate in a shallow bowl. Okay. <laughs> I'll get a bowl. And we're going to dip our pretzels into the chocolate. That's good. That's good. So this is going to go into the microwave for about 30 seconds. I think we should use the And then we're going to check it, stir it up, and then put it in for a little longer, depending on how much more melting it needs. If you have the wafers, then you're going to put the wafers on top of your pretzel and then melt. And then put it in the oven for two to three minutes so that the chocolate gets melty but not melted. It would be a mess. It would be a mess. Super, super melted. We just want it melty because um, 
Yeah, so put it back in for 40 seconds. Okay. Ah. Why is it so So these are perfect if you're celebrating in Passover or Easter or just celebrating spring. These are a nice fun recipe. Doing Super like cute. Easter party. Yeah, something. Is the egg count with your family? Well, not everybody celebrates those, though. Oh, yeah, I guess so. Okay, pull it out. Let's see what's going on. So I'm going to start putting some of our ingredients away so that when it's time to clean up, we don't have a huge mess on our hands. Uh, wait a second. Almost 30 seconds. Got it. Any more to do you want it to be nice and smooth? Oh, no, we don't want it super smooth. So another 30 seconds. good cook does is they clean up after themselves so you want to make sure that if you are cooking you want to clean up your mess clean up your workspace put everything away and just be helpful overall okay try it now this should be no 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 well, be fine. Fine. no so then it's good Okay, this is about where we want it to be. So it's still pretty thick. So what we're going to do is I'm going to take and just smear a little bit on top. And then we're going to create our flowers. Sure. Mm -hmm. Move them down so Lucy can get in there. Doing yellow as I sent it. And purple. Oh, wait, you're doing a purple. You can do whatever you want. There's going to be duplicates of everything, I think. Ow! Something's burning me. Yeah, the chocolate's hot. I meant to for chocolate. I'm sure that's what it was, though. Oh, okay. All right, so there's our first flower. Two more pieces. And then as they harden, then that chocolate will stay in place. So I think it's going to be easier to do them in the oven. But this way it's fine too. I'm doing it. Yellow sensitive. Kind of like a sun. Yeah. This one's not going as well. Not a problem. Being burnt. It's just not going. Orange center and red outside. Oh, you're right. Yeah. Oh, okay. Just thought something went wrong. Oh, no, almost. So you can play with the colors. If you've got um, some pastel ones, like the traditional Easter version of M&M's. It would look so pretty. It would. Oops. No, stop. If you put it down, it'll, it'll harden up. Last one. That's okay. <laughs> I, I don't want to do this. I can't do it. This isn't the life for me. So maybe we do it this way. That's such a better idea. I'm yep, gonna like start putting your hold on. I gotta do something. Today. So if you've ever made, um, during the holiday season, if you've ever made pretzel um, turtle bites, so you take the pretzel 
and you take a Rolo, which is a chocolate covered caramel, and you melt those a little bit. And then you take um, a pecan and you press it down into the slightly melted Rolo and then you let it harden. That's pretty much the same thing as what we're doing here. Yeah, those are my favorite holiday treats because they're super easy to do. I like the snowballs. Snowballs are good too. Those are so also known as Russian tea cakes or Mexican wedding cake. Okay. Oh, what color should I do next? I think we're going blue. Maybe just straight orange. Or maybe I'll just grab a handful and put them on. See what happens. Yeah, just make it multicolor. It doesn't have to be perfect and it doesn't have to all match. It's falling apart. Sorry, it's okay. Mid-air collisions happen when you're doing stuff like this. And throw on one of you. And you know what? We're gonna switch that one up for blue. We have one of every color. Fun. Here's that one. And the reason why we put parchment paper down is so that it doesn't stick to the pan when they're cold. I like the rainbow colored one. That one's nice. I didn't put it in my hand. No, that's okay though. It's still rainbow colored. Yeah, it's still got all rainbow colors. I'm just going to take some of you. Some of you. Have anybody, tr has anyone tried the spring rolls yet? Have you given them a taste? Done a taste test? If you have, unmute and let us know what you think. Where's that lunch? <laughs> Did it. All right, this life is not for me. Anymore. <laughs> Do you want to do no, we don't have to do them all, but it's because it's a lot to do. Oh, and that's just all yellow because it'd be nice and sunny. Yeah, do that. Then it's like a sun. Yeah. A sun shining down on the flowers. Mm -hmm. Great. All right. Yeah, I'm trying to go down We're not out. You need a spatula. Oh. But that's okay. Else. You could do like I want dark purple with green in the center. Ooh, fun. So it just takes a little time. Oh, that one's pretty. Yeah. But right. there you go. Those are the spring flower pretzel treats. And that's pretty much it for today's class. Yeah. So we've got our treats. We've got our fresh spring rolls on the top here. Yeah. And then the bottom row is the fruit spring rolls. What do you think, Lucy? Should we give it a try? Yeah. Okay. Should we cut one in half? Yes. Uh, plate. Plate. Just one. Sure. All right. You should do one that I need because it won't have this one. That one? Yeah, it's a little hunky. <laughs> okay, so we're going to cut our spring roll. This was my first attempt one. Yep. So this is the one Lucy made. Yep, so they're a little sticky, but they'll be okay. And then we're going to do some. I'm try it without, and then I'll. I'll do some peanut sauce on it. Well, I have spicy peanut sauce. Mmm. The peanut sauce is really good. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. 
All right, and we gotta try one of our flower snacks. <laughs> um, they're not fully melt or um, solid yet. That one's a newer one. <laughs> oh. As they cool off though, they'll be solid. Oh, I don't like the mint in it. No? I don't have a big enough mouth. <laughs> Go chocolatey. Mm -hmm. Pretty sweet. This is like a dessert. It is a dessert. It's One a of treat. these is a dessert. It is. All right. Well, everybody, I want to say thank you again for taking time out of your Saturday to join us. Our next Kids in the Kitchen class will be the Saturday before Mother's Day. And we're going to do a Mother's Day themed brunch menu. So there's going to be lots of different fun um, recipes for that one. So everyone have a wonderful rest of your Saturday, rest of your weekend. Take care and we'll see you next time. Goodbye.